All right, I hope you enjoyed The Killers with Lee Marvin and Clue Gulliger and a few other actors in there as well. Uh, but I mentioned Clue specifically because I am, I am so excited to have the man himself here with us today to pay a visit. Uh, the great character actor, Clue Gulliger. Clue, how are you? Well, I'm, uh, I'm recovering from her, uh, the president shooting me. He, you know, when she murdered, when he murdered me in this film, I felt pretty badly, but I'm okay now. <laughs> okay, very good. You do have that distinction, right, of being the only person I think that Ronald Reagan uh, ever shot on film. Are, are you? Is that right? Are you the only one? I'm the only one, and I love it. I love being killed by Ronald. He's a very nice guy. Until he, when he gets a gun, he goes hog wild. <laughs> okay, we're, we will get to that. Uh, first, I just want to ask you about your performance in this film, because it is an unusual thing for uh, the hitman in a movie to also be the comedy relief. And, and you sort of yeah. fulfill that role in this picture, right? I mean, there are so yeah, many great yeah. bits of business that you have in this movie. Uh, I have to ask, was a lot of that stuff you're doing in the film scripted, or did you make up some of that stuff? Uh, well, you make it up. Uh, I didn't, you know, my role was minimal. I was the second killer from the right, and I, I was surprised that Lee let me do all that stuff, actually. But the director wanted me to invent some stuff, you know, crazy. I was psychotic, really a nut. So I, you know, I, 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 I tried to go along with that. But I, I thought Lee would complain, but to me, he never did. Maybe he did privately to the director. I don't know. Oh, but I think it works so perfectly because he is so, you know, there, there are a few actors that are powerful on screen doing nothing like Lee Marvin. And then you're the perfect foil for him because you're just all this nervous, twitchy energy and the, the thing with the grip and the... <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> well, I thought I'd be in character. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that is great. Your performance in this film, I think, has inspired a lot of other performers who have played this type of character with the sunglasses and kind of the twitchy hitman. This was really one of the first examples of this character on film, which has become something of a, a standard thing now in movies. Lee, I think he's catching on. Mm -hmm. Where do you place um, the killers in your, in your career? Was this a high point for you? Well, uh, I don't like film acting because we don't rehearse. We don't have several weeks on stage rehearsing. And that's what I was brought up on, the method, the Stanislavski kind of thinking. And it's old fashioned, but that's the way I was taught. So we don't do that in film. And when I came out, I realized, man, I don't know what this is so much. And I wasn't too happy. But, and I never have been real happy with film acting, so, so I started make, making films, little films. Well, you've, you've managed to have a pretty darn successful career uh, for not liking it that much. Well, I, 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 well, I thank you for saying that. That's very nice of you. And, and, and they do replay things that you, you have done, and I understand that. And uh, I'm, I'm not knocking jobs that I've had. I, uh, you know, if, if you did that, you would be an ungrateful guy. And, and I sure don't want to be ungrateful for the luck I've had. Well, Clue, you have given us a lot of pleasure over the years. I can tell you that uh, your performance oh. in The Killers as Lee, for being a scary guy in the movie and the bad guy in the movie, you are immensely entertaining, and it is always a pleasure to watch this film. And you, you really are one of the highlights of, of the killers. So well, good well, on that's you. It's very nice to say that. I'm glad that Lee wasn't around to hear that. He might have shot me. <laughs> no, he wouldn't. <laughs> he was very kind to me, very gracious. And you're one of my uh, idols, of course. I've told you that before. As a film historian, you have no equal. And your presentation, 
I don't know, he must have gotten it from your father. I know he was almost an entertainment as a boxing writer, and that's almost being an entertainer. And so, I mean, I, guess, I don't know where you got it, but boy, you were in all your P's and Q's about film. Woo. Well, I, I appreciate that very much, and I'm going to demand that TCM leave that in. <laughs> 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 hey, Clue, this has been an absolute treat. I am so glad that you were able to take some time to do this with us. I, I thank you very, very much. Stay healthy, my friend. Thank you. And everybody come back next week because on the subject of staying healthy, next week's Noir Alley film is actually very timely. It is The Killer That Stalked New York about a very short-lived uh, pandemic that uh, hit New York City in the 1940s. So you will want to come back next week. And in the meantime, join us on the Noir Alley uh, Facebook page and Twitter feed and tell us your thoughts about the killers and tell us how much you appreciate the performance of Clue Gulliger in that movie. Thanks again, Clue. You're welcome. <laughs>